Hi Capricorn, Sun, Moon, and Rising. This is all about your ex. Uh, I'm not going to take too long because I've got comments about this introduction being too long, so I'm going to get right into it. Thank you so much for liking and subscribing. If you want a reading, look behind, but below for more information. Um, you can go to my website for some resources and also more about my readings, jenniferwalkerzen.com. Let's get started. Okay, thank you so much to my husband who got me this new deck, Golden Turo. Let's jump right in. Okay. Guardian Angels. Ancestors. It's going to 100% accuracy and what I want to know about Capricorn. Sun, Moon, and Rising. The end of June 2018. Okay. Um, wait till I finish my sentence here. Capricorn. Sun, Moon, and Rising. And by the way, I, if I'm not feeling it, my intuition's not feeling it, I will not take the cards. So just let you guys know what's going on. How does Capricorn's ex feel about them? The one that they're thinking about. The one that they are thinking about. How does Capricorn's ex feel about them? How does Capricorn's ex feel about them? Thank you. Okay. All right. Wow. Capricorn, your readings are always very interesting. All righty. Interesting. So they're worried and uh, they have the... The Nine of Wands, they feel burdened, and they have the Four of Wands, they want to build some kind of marriage structure with you. And they have the Emperor, which means that they feel that there's a structured situation here, you know. And I would say if I would interpret it the way the cards have it, um, through trying to build this feeling like through trying to, you know, form this celebration, this marriage with you, they feel kind of burdened and worried that, you know, the structure and the things won't come together, maybe due to a fatherly figure or a, you know, masculine type. It could be male or female, a dominant kind of figure. So let's, let's keep it moving. All right. Will Capricorn get back with his ex? Someone rising in June. Thank you. Sorry, I did that a little bit back. What's what's the barrier in place for Capricorn, Sun and Rising? For them getting back together. It's the end of June 2018. What's the barrier in place for them getting back together? Thank you. Okay. I always represent the Knight of Swords as a energy, a person, and I would say this is a fast-moving air type. And if I wanted to use, you know, if I want to think about my intuition on this, as far as what air sign would it be? Um, I want to say it's a Libra. I want to say it's a Libra. I'm just thinking, you know, feeling, feeling the energies on this. I would say it's a Libra. Libra energy. So there's something in the way. Again, another person. Interesting. Could be. It's a fast moving energy, it's a mature energy. Mm. So this right here, this is a completion as far as uh, the reconciliation. So this energy is a completion of pain from the past. So it doesn't mean, however, that this won't happen. It just could be that this, you know, it's played out now. And this is the ending of the playing out. But let's let's um let's do some clarification. So what exactly are you getting out here for feelings for Capricorn? Some of them rising for the X. How their X feel about them? Give me one card to clarify. Thank you. Okay. Okay. Mm. 
Okay. I see the sword energy. Now, so as far as feeling goes, right? And what do wands represent? Wands represents passion, creativity, impulse. And your ex obviously sees you as marriage material because of the four of wands and something that they can build something with, right? But on the same token, they have this feeling of burden towards you and worry and maybe they see you as controlling or yeah and maybe that's why there's a burden here they feel a burden maybe they're worried that you'd be con too controlling if you got into a more serious relationship because the reason I say that is because yes I do see that they see you in a serious sense with the King of Cups and the Page of Wands being a playful energy, a young playful energy, a passionate energy, impulsive energy. But on the same token, this King of Swords here is a harsher kind of energy. And someone who tells it how it is that can, you know, be harsh with their tongue. And so I'm seeing that that's how they see you. I don't know if that makes sense to you, Capricorn. Of the way your ex feels about you. Or it could be... That they're worried about... A fatherly figure. And they feel burdened. And worry because of this figure in their life. Because you see, there's these represent, it could represent people or energies. And they all go towards a masculine kind of energy. This neutral, of course, but I'm saying masculine energy. Let me clarify it a little bit more. Just one more card. Thank you. Yeah. Then you got that one. Yeah. Oh, okay. So they, they do see you as a Marin type. Okay. So let's let's just go through it here. Okay. So Capricorn. They see you as marriage material. But there's a burden here and a worry of maybe too much control. Right? They love you and they care about you and they see you in a serious sense. But they do feel like there's a worry if they get involved with you in a more serious sense that there is going to be too much control. Maybe it's a controlling relationship. Right? And then we have the Knight of Swords. Right? And that's a barrier. So I want to say in that situation, since I'm reading it this way, I would say the Knight of Swords means that there's more or less harsh words being uh, played here. And maybe someone's really sharp at the tongue. And there's some kind of controlling thing going on here and somebody feels defeated because of this not to to reference anybody for that area but if you just look at this this person with the sword here and they're like you know battling it out you know with their sword mentally because swords are represent a mental or communication it's obviously some harsh things going on here and it's it's hurtful right so let's clarify the knight of swords knight of swords clarify the knight of swords please clarify the knight of swords thank you so someone's thinking about this you know the situation where they want to build this and you know they're thinking they're they're kind of resting on the fact that 
they don't know if they want to move forward with this. Whoever this may be, maybe you or them. They, uh, they're taking a break from this. <clears throat> maybe because of harsh words. What does the Ten of Swords represent for Capricorn? Okay. So after this pain you deal with, uh, there will be some kind of forward movement with a chariot or a victory and the sun. Wow, everyone's kind of getting the sun towards the end here. That's interesting. There's a lot of, there is some reconciliations going on. Mm. But whether or not this is going to take place, I think after this pain, this, this, whatever this is that's going on here after this break, I don't know if it's going to take place in the end of June 2018 because there's a rest going on here. And then you got this pain here for the outcome. But then we have the sun and we have the victory, the cherry card, which is victory or movement card. So give me a little bit more clarification on what exactly that means. What's happening here? Thank you. Interesting. Hmm. Huh. Then we got the Queen of Wands energy. Which, again, as I tell you, I, I always feel like these are actual people, right? Hmm. Hmm. Let me just take a moment here to kind of think of this. Now, either it's saying that, to me, either it's saying that because of this pain with this other person of non-reconciliation, that don't worry, that you will be victorious and happy with a fire energy. Because that's kind of what it's kind of pointing towards here, that there is going to be some kind of fire energy coming in. And um, I always think of the Queen of Wands as a Leo energy. And then you have the Sun card there, which also clarifies Leo energy. So some type of movement with a Leo energy. So I don't know if you're going to have a reconciliation per se, but you are going to have a new movement with someone maybe you're interested in currently or some kind of option that you have because then you have the chariot here and if you look there's two things going on two you know a yin and yang type of symbol of option of a leo interesting let's get some clear more clarification on this i want to know yes or no Clarify 100% whether or not Capricorn will be getting back their ex in June. Give me straight clarification. Okay, I got no. I got no. Um, so you will not be getting back with your ex. And what else do I have here? There is something better which will be more successful. Yeah, that's what I thought. So whoever this is pertaining to, I know this is a general reading, but whoever out here has a situation where they see uh, their ex sees them as marriage material, but is feeling kind of burdened and worrisome about them being controlling, uh, a big, their ex or the barrier to the ex is they're kind of just kind of chilling out and resting because they, uh, don't know if they want to move forward with you and they feel uh, pain and hurt. And uh, there is something new coming in for you, Capricorn. Uh, that is a fire energy. So there's you're, you're going to have this movement of this new energy. Now, I don't know if it's going to be coming in the end of June or if this is going to be coming in further out. Uh, obviously that's beyond the scope of this reading so you know um, for now that's what I can say for now that you're gonna have something better that you know you're gonna move forward with uh, a fire energy looks like a Leo Leo energy um, if you like this reading it resonates with you 
uh, please like, subscribe. If this doesn't, then of course you can get a personal reading and we can get more clarity on your situation, your personal situation. Um, you can go to my website, jenniferwalkerzen.com, where you can look below for more information and resources. Thank you guys for watching. Love you guys so much.